morning. Today has not got off to the best start already. It's a gigging day today. The plan was to get the train early this morning and go down to my dad's house, drop Izzy off, and then Invisible Boyfriend and Dan were going to collect me and go all the way to Machantles in their car, where we're going to rehearse for hours and hours and hours, have a bit of food, check into a travel lodge, and then go and do a gig. That was the plan, but uh, the plan A has gone wrong already because the trains are all cancelled. So poor old IB and Dan are going to have to divert and collect me en route and it's really not en route. It's going to put us out by an hour. Is he starving? Because we were going to eat breakfast on the train but since we're home she's making herself a toasty. Yeah. Are you right, Isabel? Yeah. I've decided since I suddenly have an extra hour and 20 minutes in my day I'm going to sort the kitchen out that I just didn't quite manage to get around to before leaving and put some clothes away that I washed yesterday. It's about oh, quarter to one now. We're just driving past this rather beautiful reservoir that you can't see because there's trees in the way. Just about everything that could have gone wrong has today. We're really late. We're supposed to be arriving at what, one o'clock? <laughs> one o'clock at Machantleth to run the set, have a little tea break and then run the set again which we're rather relying on doing because <laughs> we haven't had a full band rehearsal this week. We've been rehearsing all in different sections, different groups, but not as a whole band because we're geographically spread out a bit. Uh, anyway, we're just so late now because the train's not running. Oh, it looks like we're just coming into Powys. I totally forgot to say that we have been via Cardiff to drop Izzy off to my dad and are now on the road again. We're in the Brecon Beacons now. It is gorgeous up here. That's Penavan over there. Coming up to the Story Arms Centre here, that, that building there. It's a bit of a youth hostel, I think, and I'm pretty sure they run sort of walking activities and things like that there. Have a look at this view there now. You may be wondering where the lovely Dan is. Unfortunately, because of the whole train thing happening and having to get Izzy down to my dad's and then coming back up again, there just wasn't enough room in the car for everybody because the PA is in here as well, you see. The sound gear. And there just wasn't room for everybody. Oh. But don't worry, we haven't left him behind. He's come in his own car. So we'll see him there. Well, I'm not sponsored by Greg's on this channel, but sometimes I think I should be. Got another vegan sausage roll, and I'm about to have a yom on it. Trying to work out where we are. Oh, oh, blimey. Quite a lot of letters in that place name, and neither of us have quite managed to pronounce it just yet. I have got in snacky bag a thermos glass, would you believe, with hot water and uh, some cups, some tea bags, and some soy milk in a carton. Oh dear, it's gone over sideways if it's not leaking. Uh, here we are, I haven't used this yet. Is it? Yeah. Oh, 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 there was a bit superficial spillage before I put the lid on. It's about 20 to 2 now, we're still on the road as you can see. Further complications have happened. Dan's been on the phone and he's there already and he said the building's all locked up. That building was supposed to be open from one o'clock. It's yeah. not good. Yeah. I don't know why you're laughing. Our rehearsal no, <laughs> potential is just... Can't get any worse at all. <laughs> oh, they're going to be really rubbish tonight. They're going to be booing us. They'll be rotten. Throwing right. rotten tomatoes. We'll <laughs> <laughs> be fine. It's all going to be fine. <laughs> at least I did lots of practice at home on my own. Well, you'll be fine. <laughs> I'll be fine. <laughs> Everyone will be like crumbling around me. <laughs> oh, well, at least the sun's come out. It's looking rather lovely now. Well, Dan has rung. There's some good news because he's got into the building. He was telling us all about it. But the signal went on the phone. Where are we now then? A flyer. A flyer. I can't pronounce it most week. A flyer. A flyer. We've got sucky sweets. A flyer. A yeah. Okay. It's <laughs> <laughs> just coming up to two. ETA is 2.45, so we've made up a bit of time, I think, haven't we? Mm. Well, it's looking absolutely lovely out there now. 
absolutely beautiful. We're nearly at our destination. That's really amazing. The landscape. You can see all the different shades as they go further and further back. Some of it's sunlit and some of it isn't because there's cloud in the way. Just coming into Machantlis now. Feeling pretty knackered having been up since seven o'clock this morning already. And uh, yeah, feeling like a snooze. Oh, four hours. <laughs> hmm? Travelling for four hours. Travelling for four hours and now we have to get in and put all the PA up. And we're going to rehearse with a PA and sort of sound check and rehearse sort of in one. What a lovely old building. nice little place that we are. One very old looking building. We've just um, brought all the gear in and we've just set it up in the, the room here. Well, we haven't set it up yet. We're going to go and set it up now. I've just nipped up to the toilet. What an amazing place this is. It's really old. Quite incredible. So, we're leaving the invisible boyfriend and Dan to just finish setting up. And we've just nipped into the cafe by there, but I'm not going to film it. I'm really, really thirsty, actually. I didn't want to drink too much in the car because I knew we couldn't stop. Well, I've had a bit of a sit down and some coffee and some water, but I need more water. I'm just going to grab some from the car now. I think they're pretty much set up, so we're going to go and run the set, hopefully at least once all the way through. And then I'm not quite sure what's happening next, so... We'll see how the day pans out. We're in quite an extraordinary room here. It's actually a billiard room, believe it or not, but there's no billiards. We sound checked and uh, had most of the rehearsal but we didn't quite fit all of it in. I just ran out to get fish and chips for the other half who's doing the sound for the first band on. So he's sound checking them now and I'm going to sort of post chips in his mouth and things like that. I'm just waiting to cross the road here. I'm going to nip over to the spa and just get a drink for him as well and get some cash out because I have none. Hello, it's about five to seven in the evening now. We're starting at about nine. We might be able to get a bit more of a rehearsal between eight and nine, maybe. But anyway, it's about five to seven now. I've popped back to the room that we're staying in at the Wednesday Hotel. And I'm just gonna give you a room tour, because, you know, you gotta do that sort of thing. So here we have a cupboard. What's in the cupboard? Not a lot, some coat hangers, and spare blankies and things. The main bit of the room, the lovely patchwork quilt thing here. Cupboards, either side. My junk is the loo. The usual sort of thing, really, isn't it? A shower. Good. <laughs> I always quite like to come and see what the room's like on the rare occasions we get put up. Tally! Me, looking slightly jaded and tired. Actually, I'm not feeling too bad. And can't see much because it's dark, but here we are. This is outside in Machantleth. Mach bit of a mouthful, isn't it? Anyway, I'm not going to stay in here too long because I would like to catch a bit of the band that's on before us, which is a duo, actually. Really nice. We were there while they were sound checking, actually. But in the meantime, I'm just going to chill out for a bit, have a cup of tea. I'm feeling okay about the gig, actually. We didn't quite get to go through everything in the whole set. That time delay caused by the trains being cancelled, it really, it really used up a lot of our time today, which is a disaster. But it was okay, we were playing okay, I think, in the rehearsal. It was all coming back to us just like magic. So I think hopefully with a bit of a run through now between eight and nine as well, it should be just fine and a quite nice relaxing gig. And as you've seen, it's not a big venue at all. I had, didn't, had no idea what to expect. I just knew it was a festival, <laughs> a small one apparently. I'll tell you something that's good about this hotel room already. Look, 
you can actually fit the kettle under the tap in this one. Quite often you can't because the sinks are too small. Yeah, there it goes. Let's get this on the boil then. I'm looking forward to after the gig because this is a hotel and apparently the bar doesn't shut at normal bar shutting time so we probably won't get away from our gig till about 11.30 so we should still be able to get a pint in after the gig, yay! Be like a proper night out, <laughs> I don't have many of those, <laughs> it probably seems like I do because if I do I usually vlog it but they are in the minority. I brought my own decaffeinated tea bags. And a drop of soy milk though, that's all that's left of it because I did actually manage to make two cups of tea and these in the car. It was a bit um, treacherous though. I had to be really careful not to drop really scalding boiling water on my legs. And the roads were quite bumpy so I wouldn't recommend it. I think ideally you should be stopped but we had to keep going and couldn't stop. That was the thing. And <laughs> we were getting really thirsty. I've had hot chocolate, look. Mmm. I don't really want to do anything to upset my equilibrium too much right before the gig though. So I shall stick to a bit of decaffeinated tea. I think I forgot to pack my hairbrush. That was clever, wasn't it? Oh, look at the state of it. Oh no. That's the problem with this putting it in a ponytail lark. No matter how much I brush it, the instant I put it in, it just looks like I've been dragged through a hedge. Otherwise, I would really like this way of doing my hair. Anyway. We're doing a gig here tomorrow as well. Tomorrow is like, um... It's kind of like a lecture slash talk about this Welsh poetry form that we put our music around. It's an ancient form of poetry called the Treban. I suppose it's Wales's answer to the haiku poem, you know. It has a set number of syllables for every line of the poem. And our singer has researched these going back centuries and he's found them in reference libraries, like just on scraps of paper and old tickets and things really really insightful windows into the past of Wales and they're all in Welsh of course it's a Welsh language band so tomorrow he's going to give a lecture on that and us musicians are going to sit in and every so often we'll accompany a few of these particular trip bands. Disaster over I found a comb in my boyfriend's wash bag hmm a marginal improvement oh. It's not really worth taking my shoes off, I'm not quite here long enough, so I've got them propped up on the towel, look, so they don't rub on the bed and make it dirty. <sighs> look, i got my fluffy pyjamas ready for later, after my pint. <laughs> I'm looking forward to that pint, you know. Mm. Right, it's time we were off then. Look at this great big key. 25, see. <laughs> Look some of these lights off, shall we? Let's go. <laughs> I nearly went straight down those steps then. I didn't see them. That's what comes of looking for a monitor screen. I think Dan's in one of those ones. He will have gone back already. He's a, he's a man of action. Looks to be uh, where it's all at. Because I'd quite like to go back and have a bit of a rest if I can. Outside the venue. Can you hear the lovely duo that's on before us? I can't really go in because they're playing. I wonder if I could sneak in. I'll just through this door. Their set is finished now. Oh, that's terrible lighting. Their set is finished now. I was lying on the floor by here. I don't know if you could make that out. I was just lying like a cat on the floor by the radio, which is pumping out loads of beautiful heat. So it's a bit chilly at the moment. Uh, that was a really soothing, lovely set that we just listened to. And now we're going to set up. I don't think we're going to get any rehearsal, but we're going to just set up and start our gig. I think it's in about half an hour from now. So I'll see you after the gig. We finished, we're all packing up now for the evening. It was a great success. 
we managed to get through it all. In fact, I think we did, yeah, did all right. It always seems to work out. No matter how many collie bobbles I might have before, and it is always fine. I think adrenaline kicks in and sees us through. Everybody loved it, and we're just packing up, and then we're going to the pub. Yay! There's something very wrong going on with this lady. Look, it's like it's like the band version of when a lady treads on some toilet roll with her high heels in the loo. It comes out like it looks. Ugh. Let's get rid of that. It's about ten past eleven now. We've just arrived back at the hotel. I've brought the gear up. Well, it's distributed around and about uh, in the room, but everyone else is down in the bar waiting for me. And I'm going to go down and have a very well-earned pint now. But I'm going to end the vlog here. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, comment and give the video a like if you liked it. Because it really helps the channel grow. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye. <laughs>